welcome. Now today on my workbench, we have an old friend to say hello to. One who has served me very well. Hmm, good little delivery here. Gracias. So it's been like four years since I, you know, repaired this and recapped this and so forth. Did I did everything, I checked the idling current and all that stuff. And I thought, you know, it needs a bit of maintenance. You know, it's coming to five years now. Wow, I didn't realize I've been on YouTube that long. <laughs> anyway, now there are a few things which made me decide to give this to it a maintenance. Uh, one of them is uh, the the fact that it, you know, it slightly gets hot. I mean, no, it's they normally do get hot, that's fine. But it got hotter than it did before, just a little bit, not so much. Uh, when it's idle, that is. So, I mean, the last time I, as I said, I checked the idling current, I checked everything, made sure everything is recapped and stuff. So, you know, I did every, I gave it the works, basically. Repaired it, everything. Um, by the way, links are in the description below. These are like one, one of my first videos, so do excuse <laughs> my video style back then, but everybody starts somewhere. Another thing is that the volume control is a bit crackly. Uh, same with some of these, not this one, this balance, a little bit crackly and some of these. So they're just gonna need some, you know, well, the in internal general cleaning and some uh, spraying of switch cleaning lubricant. And as you may have noticed, no tea, but yerba mate. And uh, yeah, I had this last summer and I showed everyone, you know, the about yerba mate and so forth when I first tried it. I guess it's a summer thing. It was very quick. <laughs> well, I'm glad summer's here again because it's a beautiful warm night. So, let's get you dude opened up. It's actually quite crazy. You know, back then this was actually a little bit scary and huge and everything to me. It's like, oh, it's complicated, how am I ever gonna fix this? But now that I look at it after like about four to five years, <laughs> and it's like, is that it? This is so simple compared to all the stuff that I've dealt with, you know, all throughout these years. This really feels like nothing now. <laughs> it's actually quite simplistic. It's amazing how much we learn without actually realizing it. So anyway, let's begin on this. First things I want to do is the easiest thing is just to kind of spray these um, volume controls and potentiometers and so forth with uh, the other First things first, let's move my mate out the way. I'm pretty sure the oxide does not taste nice, so I don't want to get any in there. Hey, where's the... I always call this thing of straw. <laughs> Do you remember those when you were little? Those um, cartons with the, the little plasticky top which you can pop and it comes with a red straw. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Okay, so the input selector switch here, the tuner phono box, the actual selector for this is not here. Series of metal wires or metal rods or whatever they are going into this. This is the actual switch. So when you turn it, you know, it moves and switches that. Actually, I didn't use deoxid on it back then. I actually used um, service all super 10. Or super service out then I'm not sure what the freak you call it but it was it, it's not that good it's actually cheap this stuff is supposed to be amazing uh, this deoxid stuff so it's getting its first deoxid treatment at least so when you've actually done this uh, spread them what you need to do is just work them quite a bit actually That one wire which has been which is um going back and forth switching that switch there. So while we're here right, so the 
final thing we're here for is to check the um the island current here we'll check the voltage see if it's um above 11 millivolts we do not want that we want it to be at 11 millivolts actually so this time we do not want probes we want the hooks okay so this is not live this time and now the voltage between the emitters is what we're wanting so emitters of uh, transistor q729 and q731 so so look all right so this a group of three wires here is actually leading to transistor q729 which is what we want it's actually underneath i remember seeing it uh, one of the transistors is just you know somewhere else for some reason or we just didn't have space there um anyway so we want to be on the emitter of this. And so we're hooking that onto there. I cannot believe last time I did this all when it was live. <laughs> I don't know how I managed that, but I know that I'm very careful. I'm somebody who is very alert and very aware of her surroundings. So yeah, that if you're not alert and aware, if you're a bit absent-minded about things, yeah, do not do things while it's live and plugged in. You know, I'm very, I'm extremely careful about these things. So we're checking the voltage between the emitter of Q731 and the emitter of Q729 and um, it should be around 11 millivolts. Uh, if it's higher, I'm going to adjust it with this pot here until it's 11 millivolts. And what I'm going to do after that is keep this on for like half an hour or something like this and check them again. If it drifts, then yeah, I will again because you're supposed to leave it on for half an hour or something like this before you know before you kind of adjust but i want to adjust it first make sure it's closer so it, you know reduce some of the damage let's move this away from the freaking transformer it's not wise to <laughs> have this wire going mm. let's just wrap around the freaking live terminals there right so let's turn this on and have a look why are you on me? It was too long. It's very weird. Okay, well, let's change it to 11. It should be at 11, actually. So now we're going to hook this onto the emitter of Q732 and the emitter of Q730. Okay, so put them there. Okay, so what is this now? This is too low also. This is very strange. This time they're too low. No, oh, too, too high, too high, too high. Maybe this explains the slight humming and buzzing that was going on. This is very slight, but there was a bit of humming and buzzing going on. Or maybe it's because it's not warmed up. Alright, so I've set that. I'm gonna actually keep this meter on. Well, keep it connected. As you can see, it's rising a little bit, the more it heats up. So I'm gonna keep that connected. Um, obviously I'll turn it off so it doesn't waste its battery, but I'll keep it on and then turn it on when, you know, ha after half an hour. And of course I'll keep this connected. So yeah, allowing it to warm up. See you in half an hour. There we go. A quick half an hour. <laughs> and um, you can see it's gone up. It was like about 10, 11, before and it's just gone up to 15. It has not gone up as much as I thought it would, but it's always best to kind of uh, adjust it, then you know let it warm up and then readjust it. So I'll do this for the right channel and then we'll readjust the left channel and then test the speaker outputs. Okay, so that'll be too low, just make it 11. Because that's just about right. What I'm gonna do is just turn this off and switch it back to the output transistors on the left channel unplug it of course because that is still live <laughs> okay that's set onto the left channel plugged in and let's switch it on it's still gonna be warm whoa that's dropped seems to drop rather than rise i was expecting it to rise that's kind of about right. I mean, it's 0.11 millivolts, you know, 
just give or take. Because these three friendly pins here, they're like exposed and live. And that is the uh, 240, 115 switch. So yeah, live wires there. <laughs> Rather than plug it and then move it around. Right, so plugged in, switched on again. Right, back here, uh, I'm gonna check the if there's any like DC on the outputs of the speakers. There shouldn't be any above 80 millivolts. This is 15. Actually, it's exactly the same as it was about four years ago. Almost five years ago. So let's speaker system B. I like the fact that these have two speaker systems, which I'm assuming they're going to be identical. So let's turn A off and put B on. It's going to be 8, and yeah, I assume the other one's going to be 15. So, yeah. Not sure why one channel is more than the other, but at least it's under 80. And we got 15. I knew it's going to. I think it's because they're connected to the same freaking thing. This is good. It's all working fine. Let's have a little bit of a test. For now, I'm just gonna connect it to some external speakers for the, the headphones, amplified speakers, just to kind of like test if everything is working okay. some nice mega remixes. so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. Also, do follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, and also on SoundCloud. I also wish to say thanks so much to my patrons for all your support. It means a lot. And if you wish to see my patrons' websites or YouTube channels, they are linked in the description below. For now, I will say adios!